is Tiziana. So time to change my nail polish. And I was lucky today because some plates that I had ordered arrived. And uh, they are from Überschick. And it's collection number 17. So let me show you. Um, they look like this. They are absolutely so beautiful. Überschick is my favorite plate to buy. They are super edged and always super beautiful and they have like layering, like matching images. I really like that. Only thing is that I don't know, maybe some people don't like is that they are very expensive so but otherwise they are one of the best plates i think so look at this beautiful layering kind of images so beautiful the swan and all of them this one also, and this, this is super beautiful as well. I like this also. So they also often have like sayings, like words. They always have words on their plate also. So yeah, it's a really good brand. And I highly recommend it. Then I bought some, some uh, polishes as well, but I'll only show you one today. And that is from Emily Di Molli. I had to pre-order this in, uh, it was in September. I think the last month of September. Because they were already sold out. So, but I got it now. This look like this and it's named Goddess of Rays. And it's so beautiful. Oh, when I saw this, <laughs> uh, I was so angry it was sold out so quickly. So I purchased it on Rainbow Connection. I'll leave their website down below in the comments. If you want to go there and shop. They have so many beautiful polishes. So if you like what you saw, keep watching because I'm going to make some nail art today. I don't know if I'm going to use uh, these or I'm going to use the polish. So keep watching. So for these money, uh, I will not be using the Überschick plates because I haven't had time to go through them. But I will use another plate that I haven't made a video on. And that is clear jelly stamper. And uh, what number is this? This is number 18. So I'll use this plate instead. And then I'll use this polish. This is uh, my sister. She went to Mallorca and she brought back some polishes. And this is one of them. 
it's not any brand or anything it's just a glitter polish so I'll be using this and then my Emily Di Mali of course my treasure polish so let's get started I will start applying this beautiful polish And then, by the way, I will use for the stamping, I'll use Mundo de Uñas. This is number 87, Meringue. I'll use this for stamping. Oh my god, this polish is absolutely stunning, man. I have no words. It's that much beautiful. And this is just one coat. Look how beautiful it is. So this is how they look now. This is one coat, uh, one and a half, you can see. I went over with the brush on some nails. So I think one coat is enough. If you watch my videos, you know that I'm not a fan of, of doing many coats. If I don't have to, of course. So, yeah. I think it's enough. So it's so easy also I think to to ruin beautiful expensive polish like this. You can quickly ruin it if you put too much or too much top coat or something like that. So I'm always very careful. So now I'm gonna stamp. So what I'm going to do is like this, I'm going to start painting a circle with the glitter. So I'll be using this image here and uh, if you see it has this, uh, this circle here, so I'll, I'm trying to make the circle here with the glitter so it's not super easy but It's just so the so it becomes more like perfect instead of I, I just put glitter and then stamp I want to make it like more neat so I'm trying to make this half circle So I think it's okay now. Like it looks like I have circle. Yeah. So I'm just going to wait till it dries and then I'll show you how I stamp.
So I just realized I made a mistake and sorry guys, I was supposed to use this one, Mundo de Uñas, but by mistake I took the white one because it was standing here and they are very similar because this is very sheer. So yeah, so now I just, I'm just gonna continue with the white. It's also nice. <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyway, now I'll show you how I stamp. So it was born pretty, the one I just showed you now. And this is a Moyo stamper. So I'm gonna look at the circle and then try to aim it with the glitter circle. But it's okay, the white is nice also for the polish, I think. It looks really nice, I think. So maybe it's a good thing <laughs> I took the white instead of the greenish one. So now I'll wait, I'll just show you how it looks and then I'll make the rest of the nails. I'm just removing the extra with some tape and then you can do the final cleanup at the end. So this is how they look. So I'm gonna make the rest of my nails and I'll show you the finished money. I'm gonna seal it with the Moira water-based top coat. So I want to say that uh, remember to wear a peel-off base coat. I'm wearing peel-off from uh, Picture Polish because when you wear glitter, uh, yeah, you have to wear a peel-off base coat. Otherwise, it's very hard to get the glitter off. So if you like my nails, leave a like. And uh, if you are not subscribed, subscribe. And I'll see you for the next video. I hope you liked my tutorial and you liked my nails. And I want to finish off by saying something that Nails of Interest, she always says. And I really love these words. And those are, you continue to be you and I'll be me. So, see you next time. Bye. It's no sweat.